Three dozen FEMA trailers are on their way to Vermont as temporary emergency housing has become a greater need since July's intense rain. ABC 22's Josh Morrill got a look inside. I'm here on the site of the old Montpelier Elks Country Club where taxpayers decided to purchase the lot back on town meeting day in 2022 and ever since then long term housing has been the plan for this site, but natural disaster brought a short term stopgap. In a virtual event on Friday, FEMA officials outlined the look of a direct housing solution for those displaced from their homes in Vermont's July flooding trailers. They showed their rustic interior and plethora of accoutrements. And over at City Hall, City Manager Bill Frazier says Montpelier is in talks with FEMA to put a batch of those trailers on a portion of the old Elks Lodge golf course. They're obviously trying to move very quickly. They would put in uh, 36 mobile homes, uh, FEMA trailers, for temporary housing for people who have been displaced by the flood. So this is people who lost their homes, that damage. Uh, can't be in their homes for a year or two. The lot that is being used as a recreation area and pseudo dog park will need significant development before anyone can move in. But with the federal government's resources, FEMA says they are looking to start moving folks in around mid-December. And Frazier says this new plan doesn't change the city's long-term goals for the lot and provides them with a unique opportunity. The added benefit of bringing infrastructure, water, sewer, electricity, road into an area that we would have to do that for for future housing. The cost of the development will be covered by FEMA and the displaced Vermonters that will be staying in the trailers, some of whom who are already camping on the site will be able to either stay until January of 2025 or purchase the unit and move it to a different location as the city's long term plans will continue. Our goal is not to have a long term uh, FEMA trailer set up there, but to bring in multifamily housing in that area. So we we've just begun conversations really since the council gave the go ahead last night to see if we can't be, you know, have maybe a multifamily building under construction while the FEMA is there. So there might be an option for people to move right in. And this newfound plan for Montpelier gives the city time to envision what the rest of the area will look like in the years ahead. It may be that a developer or, you know, a project partner decides that a, a mix of different types of housing is what's most desirable and most marketable. So we're open to all those outcomes. And Frazier adds all of these trailers will be filled in short order once established. Reporting in Montpelier, Josh Morrill, ABC 22 News.